in the history of the Noble American Ladies Calendar and gentlemen, show. we interrupt our regularly scheduled broadcast to bring you the following special program. Some of you may think I'm sporting the latest in modern haberdashery design. Others may think I have a stupid spaghetti strainer on my head. I see you out there poking one another saying, Fats has finally gone crazy. He's got a spaghetti strainer on his head and he don't care. But I do. This isn't just a spaghetti strainer. We think of it as the noble American colander. Now, how many of you folks have a colander at your home? Raise your hand. Hmm, six. Well, at this time, Showbiz Pizza Place and the Rock of Fire Explosion would like to pay special tribute to this unsung hero of Americana, the noble colander. And to assist me now with this presentation, I present my protege, Johnny DiGiacomo. Johnny? How about you, bub? Yo, John. Uh, John. John. Oh, excuse, oh, excuse, excuse me. Uh, he... appreciate you there Johnny you know folks Johnny has really done a lot of work to get this show together uh, Johnny has done the work of three men Curly Larry and Mo <laughs> that's a zinger sometimes I just tickle myself to death anyway <clears throat> uh, before my assistant Johnny did jock a mo how you doing Johnny before Johnny turns the page, I advise everybody to brace themselves. Brace yourself for a senseless tragedy. Turn the page. Look at it. Go on, look at it. A colander filled with spaghetti. an assault against any criteria of taste and decency. Let's bow our heads in a moment of silence. gentlemen <clears throat> it's a crying shame especially when you consider the part the colander has played in American history yes in 1492 everybody knows Columbus sailed the ocean blue but what they don't know is he never would have made it if it hadn't been for the colander-like design of his three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Strena Maria. Johnny, do you see any spaghetti on that ship? No, uh-uh. And everybody recognizes Davy Crockett and his famous coonskin colander. <laughs> Don't he look cool? Yes, he does. And 
It was a proud day in American history when women won equal rights through the Women's Roughage Act of 1857. And uh, if I remember correctly, that's the, that's the law that gave women the right to wear their husband's colanders. I think that's right. I'm not, I'm not too sure because when I was in school, I was a little too smart to study and too cute to care. But I do know that once upon a time, people thought the earth was flat. Then they found out it was round. But I'm here to testify. The earth is actually two colanders super glued at the equator. Uh, well, may maybe, maybe they use some extra thick mozzarella cheese, Johnny. I don't know what I look like, an information booth? Uh, now, listen up. It was Albert Einstein, the big daddy of relativity, who said that the colander was as good a protection as you can get against nuclear fallout. In his own words, he said, about all you can do is put a colander on your head and pretend you're hiding in a giant microwave. Uh, oh, oh, and take it from fats. Uh, you better wear plenty of sunscreen. And then, one awful day in December 1926, Mrs. Martha Dropbottom, in an unthinking moment, snatched the colander off of her husband Herbert's head and began draining her spaghetti. That's the day the colander, stripped of its pride and integrity, reduced to a common kitchen utensil, was shoved back on the shelves of mankind. Until now. Let's join together. Too much time has passed, America. Let's get that colander out and let's get it cranked up. Come on, everybody. We want you. We want you here at Showbiz Pizza Place on Wednesday night. Get that colander down from that shelf. Get that old thing decorated and get it up on your head. That's right. Decorate the colander. You know what those, those little handles and those legs on top there? That's what that's for. You hang stuff on it, you know. That's right. Everybody here on Wednesday night at Showbiz Pizza. Wear your colander because you can get free tokens and your own Colander Head Club membership card. 